my channel. This is Chrissy Love. I am Chrissy. It's great to have you here. This is where I talk about my perfume obsession and my collection and review new perfumes. And basically this gives me a reason to keep collecting and I am absolutely in love with this hobby. So thanks for being here. Thanks for liking, commenting, subscribing. All that stuff means so much to me. It really makes all of this worthwhile to know that I'm not in my own little bubble. I am part of a much bigger but very clicky bubble and that <laughs> all us obsessed with perfumes kind of just stick together which is awesome so thanks so much for being here today i'm doing a flash review of a perfume that actually came out in 2020 that is the anthony hopkins perfume which is unisex so it's for men or for women and I'm talking about it because I've seen it on Facebook a lot promoted, but no one's really talked about it that I've seen. I haven't, I haven't sought out reviews about it, but from the people I follow, they aren't really talking about it. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to talk about a lesser known, potentially celebrity perfume. Um, and so let's talk about it. So I have my sample size and here's my card where it looks like I'll put a picture of course with the ball looks like in the corner, but this has top notes of bergamot, orange, ginger, and pink pepper, middle notes of orange blossom, jasmine, and rose, and base notes of musk, honey, and patchouli. This is a really fascinating scent. I actually really dig it. So this has, um, on my, on my skin at first dab, I don't have a sprayer, but my skin, I really get the bergamot and florals very forward. So it starts off being, I think, leaning feminine, but it's zesty, it's fresh, it has this powderiness to it. It reminds me a little bit of like pencil shavings, but not in a bad or overt way, just kind of like an undertone of that. Um, which kind of grounds it and makes it, I think, more unisex, more interesting even. Um, but when I was first smelling it and I asked my boyfriend if he thought it was if he got the same impression and he said he did I remember when I was a kid opening my grandfather's like drawer in his desk and it has like hauls it has lifesavers it has like a few pencils in there you know all kind of the old school some paper in there it kind of reminds me of that experience that's like the pencil shavings kind of experience I'm talking about like a, a drawer of stuff in it that just like Reminds you of like, your grandfather, which maybe I'm allowing the whole Anthony Hopkins thing to like come into my brain because he is like a grandfather. Um, but that's what it reminds me of. And then the dry down, the orange blossom is really beautiful. It has this clean musk with the orange blossom. It has kind of a little bit like a medicine cabinet smell, um, kind of like an apothecary type smell to it because I think the oils just smell grounded and natural and unsweetened. Um, so very unisex, very unique. It's not like a typically pretty or sexy scent, but it's just really fascinating. It's kind of like reliving an experience. Um, so I don't think I'll buy a full bottle of this because I don't think I want to smell like this in the world. It's not like how I see myself, but I think as a scent, it would be great as like a candle or like, it's kind of like a memory inducing type scent for me anyway. Um, so performance wise though, it is largely a skin scent. It doesn't really project around me at all. Maybe if I had a sprayer, I could get more, a little more performance on it, but it sticks really well to my skin, but kind of stays close. So yeah, this is a really interesting scent. I wouldn't have guessed it was a celebrity scent. I would have thought it was a niche scent actually because it's just so unique and experiential, but I really like it. I think it's a really solid cologne perfume, whatever you want to call it. Um, and so that is my flash review of Anthony Hopkins. Definitely worth checking out. And I think I got a sample online for like three bucks. I had to pay for shipping and they sent me one online. So yeah, it's definitely worth checking out if you haven't thought of to do so already. Um, but let me know if you've had an experience with this and if you enjoyed it. So anyway, that's the close of my flash of you. Thanks so much for being here. Hope you have a very beautiful day.